All right, it is time for door 19. Let's see. Oh, it is the presents, a gift for you. All right, let's make something with this. So here's our stamp set, and I'm glad it was there. I was hoping. So a gift for you and the presents. So today I'm going to make a Z fold card. So I have my five by seven base. So this is 10 by seven. You score it at five and two and a half. And then you fold over and you have your Z fold. So I have that. I have for the outside. Out of the cloudy day pack, I took the paper that was blue with the gold stars and I and I cut this to four by six and I kept the stars on the one side. So then I have four and a quarter by six and a quarter gold mirror card I'm going to put on the back. And then this is going to be where I'm going to stamp and color. And this is going to be on the front. So this will sit on the front of the card like this. So to go inside the card, I took the other two inches that were left. And this is going to go on the inside. And then I have a three by four and three quarters and a three and a quarter by five. And these will sit like this. And I'm going to line this up with the front so you won't be able to see it when the card is closed. And inside I'm going to stamp. Treat yourself to some birthday fun and have a brilliant day. So I'm going to put that in here. And this is from my stash. So that is the plan for today. So let's get started. So let's start. I'll turn this this way. Start with this. Now, I did pull out the stars from the other day. I may use these stars. I haven't decided yet. Depends on how much space this all takes up. So if I have a gift for you, and I have the presents. So I'm hoping maybe tomorrow we'll have a die for this, which would be really nice. Yeah, this is kind of big, so I think I need some other things here. Unless, let's see, I could stamp that there. Put the gift for you here in the middle. Let's see, will that fit? I think it will fit. Maybe I'll stamp two on the bottom. You know what? If it doesn't work, I can grab another piece of paper and redo it. So I will put the gift for you here. And then maybe we'll put the stars on the top. So we have three stars. Let's put the big star here. And that will match the stars over here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Make sure that didn't move on me. All right. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to do these in gold. So let me stamp the bottoms first. So this is some gold metallic pigment ink. I think I'm gonna see what this looks like.
looks very brown, not really bronzy. I guess it does have some metallic to it as it dries. Not really the right color though. That does that looks like it matches, but that's not even close. All right, so let's see what I can do to lighten that up. All right, so I have this acrylic paint pen. And I think if I do it quick enough, I can get gold on here and be able to wash it off and not ruin my stamps. So I will dab this on here. stamp and then we'll go rinse yeah that looks a lot better all right let me go rinse these off all right so that looks pretty good that's drying that actually gave it a neat effect with the bronze underneath all right so i can live with that Because this will be on here, and this will be on here. Yeah, that will be fine. All right, let me grab some scratch paper. So I think I'm going to color the rest of this in gold and silver and a black. So I think I'm going to do the ribbons in gold. And this is yellow to eight. <laughs> make it look Christmassy so I didn't want to put any red or green in here so I just kind of left it with the black and the silver so for the background here I need to put a little bit of color or something on here so let me grab some metallic ink all right I found my other one which actually does say gold instead of bronze and I think this is more the color so I am going to go along the edge here And this is a foam pad, so you have to be a little bit more careful with it than the felt ones. Because it's a little bit more squishy. I'm just going to do this slowly. So I'm trying to get the edge really dark and then just a little bit onto the paper. There we go. That looks a lot better. So then this will go on here. Yeah, I think that's all that needs. But I will put, I think I will put this up on foam. All right, so let me glue these two pieces together. There we 
go. And let that dry for a moment, because that's going to be slick on the mirror card. So let me put the foam on the back of this one. And while all that dries, let me do the inside. All right, so I'll put the paper down here. There is my stamp. Alright, so that's good. And I think I am going to take the sparkle pen to this just to make it more shiny because it says Brilliant Day. And so I think this card should be very shiny. Alright, so this is going to get glued onto here. I probably yep, that will be fine because this is going on top of here and that will be on the inside all right I'm going to stand up so I can center this there we go all right, now let's have the card base so let's see, do I want to do anything else to this card? Nope, I think this is good. All right, so I'm only going to, now I'm going to center this for the whole card, not for just this one side. So I am going to see where this is going to sit. About here. Put a mark here. So I only want glue on this side. I'll bring this back in here. Get it all lined up in the center. Press down. Right, give that a moment. All right, we will open this up, put some glue on this side. Now this I'm going to hide behind the panel, so it should be in the middle. But let me make sure when I close this, it is hidden. Yep, now it's hidden. Sure, that's nice and straight. Okay, now we'll take this panel, put it on the inside. And this will get centered here. And I know that will be hidden because it is smaller than the blue panel here. And this sentiment just came from my stash. It's something I've had for a while. All right. There we go. Wipe off the extra glue here. I think we are all set. A gift for you. Treat, your, treat yourself to some birthday fun and have a brilliant day.
All right, let me just put some sparkle pen on this. We will call it done. Oops, that's coming out a little fast. go. I think I'll go over these stars. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, so I'm going to call this finished. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see the rest of the video, subscribe, and you can get a notification every day as we finish up this advent calendar. And until tomorrow, stay crafty.